It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Tembi Harbour Brewery. Based in Tembi, obviously, one of my favourite kind of places to holiday. Uh, we go every year for a few days. And this is their Trawler's Dread. There's a lovely, there's two breweries. Now, some of you might have seen my video where I did the pubs and bars of Tembi. Um, there's two breweries in Tembi, in the town of Tembi. Uh, one called Tembi Brewery and one called Tembi Harbour Brewery. Now, this brewery, oh, I love it. I call it Brewery Lane. It's not called Brewery Lane, but I call, I call it Brewery Lane because there's a brewery entrance on the lane and they put all the tables and chairs down the lane of this lane. It's all flowered, it's all beautiful, and you get to drink fantastic, fantastic home-brewed beer. It's a, it's a really brilliant, brilliant thing. Um, history in the making, Trawler's Dread. It's a black IPA at 5.4% ABV, infused with Pembrokeshire seaweed from Cafe Moor. There's a look at it. Without further ado, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. We got a black bottle cap on this one. Oh, oh, got it in the end. I think my um, BB Barfly is running out of steam. I think I've used it so much that it's starting to run out of gas. Um, wearing out. So, black IPA. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. We got a one to two finger, slightly off white head. It's a jet black beer in the glass. There's a little bit of carbonation rolling around the side of the glass there. It looks very good. It looks very good. Uh, the beer cost me, it was around £2 per bottle, which I think is really good value for a, a bottled ale. Oh. Lovely and hoppy. Rich. Dark. Is dark an aroma? Am I allowed to say dark? It smells of dark. The roasted malt. Let's get technical. The roasted malt is bursting out of the glass here. You're getting like pipe tobacco smoke, chocolate, coffee, caramel. The hops are tremendous. It's plum, fig, prune, orange, chocolate, orange aromas. Ah, oh, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The pipe tobacco smoke that I talked about in the aroma is coming through in the flavor. It's really got a lovely bitterness on the back end. But what I really like, what I really like about the beer is the mouthfeel. It's creamy and rich. You can tell it's a 5.4% ABV beer that's been brewed with 
a good amount of black malt, a good amount of roasted malt. You get the chocolate, the coffee, the caramel coming through. Very much an oaty, rich wheat biscuit malt flavour that just runs all the way through the beer. I think this is one of my favourite beers from Tembi Harbour, actually. I, I like their beers. They're very, very good. They do some really good pale ales, some really good hoppy IPAs, some really good bitters. But... I think I'm actually trying this for the first time. I think that I've not had this beer before from them. And it's blooming good. It's blooming good beer. You can feel the carbonation pushing the beer around the inside of the mouth, releasing all that flavour. It's really rich. I don't think you want too many of these. I think if you ever visited Tembi and you went down Brewery Lane, then... Um, what I tend to do is, first of all, grab a table because they're hard to come by. It's a really busy place. It's, it's very picturesque. It's very mini Venice-like. Lots of beautiful flowers, small cramped lane with tables down the lane. And then they've, they've opened up another lane that moves off into the right-hand direction as you go in down the hill. And there's, it's all quaint and it's all kind of like buildings that need restoration. You know, the, the shutters on the doors are kind of hanging off a little bit. And it's all very beautiful because this, they, they, they do a fantastic job with um, the floral decoration of this place. They, they ram the place full of flowers. And if you can get a table, and this is what I was getting at, if you can get a table, then... You, re you really add in for a bit of a surprise because you can go to the bar, which is a hatch. It's like a little hatch and you stand there and the, there's a man that will serve you beers. You can either try some of their cask or keg beers or, of course, they've got a range of bottles. Now, you could sit there all afternoon. Literally, you could sit there all afternoon. You could, tr you, you could try a, a, a lager, a Bass Bitter, move it on to... Maybe a red ale, a, a darker ale, a porter, a stout, a black IPA. And you could sit there all afternoon sampling their different beers. And this, I wouldn't be able to drink too much of this because of the, the, the big bull bodiedness of it. But it would be a very nice part of that sampling. When you got to this... Maybe it was the last beer of the day. Because I don't believe they do an imperial strength beer. I don't think they do a barley wine or a, an imperial stout to finish off with. So I, I would probably finish with this. And savour it. It'd be the last beer of the day. Have a cheeky bottle. After you've had lo loads of their lagers and their red ales and their, their pale ales and so forth. And just just sit and enjoy this as the, as the last beer of the day because it's it, it's very complex. There's lots going on. Berry fruit fruit flavors coming through. Plum, fig, prune. Great mouthfeel. Great carbonation. A hoppy stout. I like the word black IPA, but I also like the word hoppy stout. So, um, yeah, at Tembi Harbour Brewery, it, 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 it's called Sergeant's Lane. I call it Brewery Lane. I've always called it Brewery Lane, but it's called Sergeant's Lane, St. Julian Street in Tembi. Trawler's Dread. Fantastic, fantastic. I like that beer, I really do. I like it enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.